G'day everyone, Ali here and welcome to today's video. Well I'm joining Ina in her four core challenge for the month of July and she has picked four items that we need to use. So one is a design a book or a journal. So I've got my little glue book here that uh, I do every now and then and uh, it's just a collage book and I'm going to actually decorate this cover. Now, a couple of the things that um, she has picked for us to use is use fibers. So I've got some cheesecloth here that I'm going to use. Include numbers and or letters. So I've got this number stencil here and I thought I might use that with some modeling paste. So I've got my favorite light and fluffy modeling paste here, which I'll use. And the last one is to add silhouette so I've got this Tim Holtz alterations die here which is the umbrella man and I've already cut it out several times and I've glued it together so I've got about five pieces of cardstock and I just used some breakfast cereal boxes and glued these together so it is nice and thick because I want some good dimension on the front of my art journal here. So to begin with what I'm going to do is I'll actually gesso my little man here with some black gesso. Because I do want him sticking off the page with some really nice dimension. So just making sure that I just get all on the sides and I'm not gonna be too careful because I'll decorate him a little later down the track but I want the gesso to dry. Now this is just a Montmartre gesso. I just get it from the cheapy shop and it's fine for what I want to use today. So I'm always really excited to see um, Ina's four core challenges and what she does uh, and I try and do them when I can and she's a very talented lady so I'll actually link her channel down below in the description box also so just making sure that it's all painted on the sides here giving it a really good coat now I'm just going to leave this to dry just while I work on my cover. So this is going to be a really simple cover here and all I'm going to do to begin with I'm just going to just make sure that I cover up where I need to because I don't want any paint or anything going inside my journal. So I'm going to use some cheesecloth to begin with and what I want to do is I'm just going to put it along my spine here so when I open up my book it will actually be really nice on the spine. So I'm going to use some Mod Podge for this. And I do want the spine to be a little bit flexible as well. I'm just going to cut this in half because I do want the fibres to stick out there as well. So this is only just a, I think it's the Kayser Craft, that's the Kayser Craft brand there. And just, and this is just a uh, little notebook that I picked up from them. So their products are really cheap when you get a sale on. So, and I think it comes like in a three pack, but as I mentioned, this is a little glue book that I have that I glue in. Now, I'm just going to cut that off because I might actually use some of these little bits just to add some texture as well. So, to my cover. 
and it's always really good just to get in and just have a play as well so I love getting and seeing uh, what people have on their challenges why not join along as well so you just never know where it's going to take you Check out Ina's channel down below. I'll link that in the description box as well and uh, see what other crafters out there or creative people have done also. So that's all done. So I've got my texture or using fibres. I'm just going to dry that off. Now, this stencil here I got ages ago and it's from Scrap Mats. If I can find it, I'll put that in the description box. So, yeah, this will have a little bit of a border on and I'm not really bothered about that because I do know what I'm going to do with this. Now, I love this stuff. This is the light and fluffy um, modeling paste and it is just like icing. It's just so nice. do the front as well just like that Now I'm just going to go and wash my stencil so I'll be right back. So this is all dry and I've got some Montmartre white texture gesso that I'm just going to cover all of this with. I'll just cover everything up. This will actually add uh, some texture as well to the blank little pieces. Any pieces that haven't been glued down properly will be glued down with the gesso as well. So just giving that just a really good cover. And because this is nice and thick as well, I just want to really just make sure that my numbers are sticking out. So I'll just give that a bit of a pounce just to give it some texture. And those blank spots, I'll just give that a dry off. So I've got some Deco Art metallic paint here, which I'm going to use to cover my page up. But I've also got some Nouveau Mousse here in Black Ash, and I want to put this over and over the numbers so it catches the highlights. So let's just get started. I've just got a brush here. I've got a mini mister that I'm going to use to spray the paint because I do want some drips. Mix those up.
Now I've just put my cover aside just to let that totally dry and this is my silhouette here which I'm going to use. Now I am going to write art in the umbrella and journal this way using my Delusions white linen pen here. So I want to do that because I think it'll look too blank on the front of the page. So I'm just going to start by putting the R in the middle and then the T and I think this will make a really good interest on the front of the art journal page. So I'm just going to write journal down on a post-it note because I do get carried away sometimes. N A L so it's seven letters, so, so R is going to be the, and you know what, I'm just going to just go for it. go so I think that's pretty good way it is there so that will be my little man done now with him I might do some stamping on him actually so I'll just go grab a stamp and I'm going to use my Hazercraft one because I do love this one so I think what I might use is some white cotton Let's see if this is, so I need to ink this up. Now I don't use too much of this on here because I, uh, this is an ink that I don't use all the time. So I just want a little bit on there. And also, I don't want... much either and then just a bit on his head just like that just to add that interest on the page so I've got the Nouveau Mousse in Black Ash and I've got a stencil brush as well. Now this is uh, needs a little bit of water to it so I'll just give it a bit of a spray to get it started. And with my stencil brush, before I actually apply it, I'm just going to get most of it off. So then what I can do is just go over it and it will soon pick up the numbers. Just highlight those. So as you can see, it just highlights the numbers there. And just some of the cheesecloth as well.
and you just need to do that. I'm just going to keep doing it until I'm just happy with what I've got. Now I'm just going to bring in a little bit of the ink gold here as well, so it's probably hard. <laughs> so I'll just give that a spray. I've just cleaned my brush. I'm just going to just bring some of that back in. Around the edges. going to do the same with the violet ink gold. Same thing, just bring some of that back in. so I'm pretty happy with that as well so the numbers there are really subtle as you can see in the background and I'll just dry that off before adding my umbrella man now I don't mind getting my fingers into this <laughs> and See if I can just bring some of these numbers back out. There you go. So you just need a small amount just on your fingers. I think that's heaps better actually. Yep, so I'll just do this side over here. is just a little bit too wet but just being just really careful on there so I think that's uh, brought out the numbers a little bit better there okay so I'm just going to glue my umbrella man on first of all I've got some Rangers matte medium gel here and I'm going to really give this a really nice thick coat because I do want this to stick on really well because there's uh, some lumps and bumps on this this will really help it glue into place Make sure we're up the right way. And we'll just glue him down. So I'm just going to put some pressure on that. And I've got my big block here. So put that on. And I'll just leave that for just a couple of minutes. So that's my art journal. But before I fit, say that this is finished, I am going to just put around the edges some black paint. So I've got some Dilutions paint and I'm just going to go around and just... 
Rucksack. Looks like a bit of a border. As well. So I think that will be finish it off really well. And I'm not very particular about being too careful just so I can get a black border on there. I also haven't been too particular about the threads hanging off as well. I might actually just go down the spine. Just there. There you go. And I think that looks heaps better. has really pulled this art journal page together. So it's my back and front. There you go. hope you have enjoyed that please go and check out Ina's YouTube channel as well I'll link that down below and I do hope that this has given you some inspiration and Ina thank you so much I really enjoyed playing along with you this month if you have enjoyed this please give me your thumbs up if you haven't done so already please consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell down below and until my next video everybody stay safe and happy creating see ya